Hi everyone, Michelle here from the Junk Journal Studio. I am doing a flip through of this awesome digital. I want to talk a little bit about my Facebook page, my freebies that I offer, some happy mail that I got, even a little bit of design team information. That being said, it sounds like a lot, but it's actually only going to take just a short few minutes. Okay, so I'd like to start with this super cute little journal that I made using Margreth over at Seven Plaza's Digital. She posted the digital up on her Kofi site quite a while ago now. It's just taken me a bit to get to it. Um, so I want to do a flip through of that because it also involves this awesome freebie page that can also be found on her Kofi page along with a whole bunch of other freebies. But first I want to show you this cute little journal that I made. I really like how it turned out. I've been wanting to try the tab binding method for a while now and so I was super excited to do that. I'm just going to see if I can kind of bring it up a little closer. Oh yeah, you guys can see that really well. Super cute. So I decided to do the binding with um, ribbon. As you can see, it's kind of sheer in the center and then, yeah, it's quite vintage. And all of the pages are pages from her kit that have been shrunk down to two per page and then folded in half to create these pockets and then tab bound in. So maybe what I'll do is I'll show you the digital actually first. So this is the freebie page. And as you can see, that's the cover. And then the um, kit has some vintage postcards that she has. And she gave it to us with the backs of them right here. And actually, it's not really the backs of these exact postcards. The writing on these ones were not very pretty she said so she gave us these pretty ones instead which work great and you'll see those here in the flip through when I show you my journal I used those four pages so those are super cute these can be used all year round and then we have these beautiful lady ladies on some vintage ephemera that she has and more beautiful ladies and some journal cards. And I shrunk um, these down, a lot of the ephemera in here, I shrunk them down to two per page and I either use them as pages in the tab bound journal or I tore them up and made collage pieces like this one, for example, is collaged. So yeah, some journal cards and then this beautiful ledger that she decorated which I shrunk down is one of the pages in the journal, as is this one. Look at that, you guys. That is so beautiful. You can use that all year round. There's really pretty pink and purple lines on the ledger. Yeah, super nice, Margaret. And some more journal cards. So that's the kit. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight pages in the kit if I counted correctly and then the freebie page as well so I will link her Kofi site below where you can find all of those so thank you for this kit Margaret. it's awesome I really enjoyed making my little journal with it yeah so there's the front cover that's the back cover that's one of the pages in the kit that's just shrunk down and folded in half so we'll start here at the beginning. We have the front and um, this is her freebie page that I did an overlay with. So it's the freebie page that I made the cover. Then I printed it again and I lined it up exactly so I could do an overlay so I could still have a pocket, but I wouldn't lose the beautiful design of the page that she created. And you'll see throughout the journal little gold snowflakes, which I completely got carried away and I put far more than I had planned to and might regret it a little bit but hey 
it's still really beautiful I like how it turned out and I added this stamp here just to have something on there as well this is one of the pages that you saw from her kit and I actually cut out one of the labels from her freebie page and put on there and then I backed all the pieces in this pink ish red kind of um, tea stained or dyed paper that's actually from my mom's digital so my mom has a digital shop on Etsy and she has a bunch of tea stained pages and stuff in there I'll link that down below as well and she has some really pretty patterns so yeah and then um, tab and some just some little fluff there I did use one of my digitals it's called all things Christmas and it consists of a whole bunch of labels and some stamps and a little bit of ephemera and stuff and a bunch of numbers and so this is actually one of the large stamps from the kit and that's one of the numbers this is a piece of her ephemera this is one of the this is that ledger page that's undecorated some pretty ribbon there or some lace i should say this is a collage that I made ripping up the pieces of both the freebie and some of her ephemera and stuff. That's from my All Things Christmas kit, as is that, and as is that number right there. And it's backed really pretty. And then this is scrapbook paper this red one right here. And then I did a bunch of gold um, edging around some of the pieces here. That's one of the pages from her kit. And this, I have to feel, this is um, one of, sorry. <laughs> this is a collage that I did ripping up pieces of the kit and creating something different and new. Okay, so this is one of the postcards. So that's the front, that's the back. And I did that for all three and then they became pages. And then I just put this cute little dangle charm on that one a snowman and this one here a tree and I just love how these turned out they're so cute this is a collage that I made this little girl and the label is off of one of the pieces of ephemera and then um, the backs of the cards I decorated with mostly stamps like a stamp and then I did some stamping and stuff to make it look more authentic and then in this postcard page we have this beautiful image which is off of her freebie page a nice deer in the cabin in the background and then of course the back of the postcard, I really like how they turned out, super cool. Here's another postcard. Oops, I'm sitting up a little high there. Um, and then this is a collage that I did. This is an image from the freebie. It's got the little Christmas tree charm. And then the back is decorated. These snowflakes are actually pink to go with the pink lines in the ledger. This is the last page printed two per page and then folded over to create this pocket which is the fourth postcard from her kit and then it's decorated as well so yeah super cute really quick easy project I really enjoyed it next I want to show you this awesome happy mail I got from Candace over at journal me crazy I uh, watch her channel all the time. She's actually on my design team. I love her style. I love all these little dots that she puts on all her pieces. She's well known for it. And the overlays, like I showed you on my last little project. I've learned that from her as well. And um, yeah, so she sent this to me and I see her dots in person and they are even more beautiful than I see on screen. Look at those little clear ones there. So yeah beautiful beautiful Candace thank you so much for sending this to me sorry it took so long uh, to show you guys I have had it for quite some time but yeah super pretty this is actually from I think it's from the all things Christmas kit as well that number right there not sure uh, she signed it that's nice not sure what kit it is that she was using for this I'm sorry but yeah, 
Love it. That's from my ephemera kit, Essentials, Junk Journal Essentials, I believe. I don't know, I have these stamps in quite a few of my kits. Super pretty. Oh, she signed all the pieces, smart. Just a ragtag kind of piece of um, ribbon or a piece of fabric maybe that she ripped, I'm not sure, but I love it. And then there's this super cute pocket bunch of pieces in there just love the little dots I love how she uses her black pen and kind of just outlines the words and makes them pop oh she kind of did that for that piece too yeah really like that and then this is a tuck spot as well handmade by Candice and then, then, of course, this can be placed, oops, it's a pocket, so it can be placed on a page as a pocket. And then this cool clock. And then look at this, you guys. Like, how beautiful is that? I was so surprised when I got it in the mail. It's not that it's the first time she sent me something, but it's just such a beautiful decorated envelope. So I will be sure to hang on to that and maybe I will make a um, happy mail journal that I can start putting stuff in. That would be really cool. I don't have one of those yet. So anyways, yeah, that's that. Thank you so much, Candice. Okay, so Facebook freebies. I wanted to let you guys know that come the new year, January, my freebies are going to be uploaded to my Kofi page. I started a Kofi page a while back, but just hadn't really done much with it. And I want to put those freebies over there, which will make it easier because there's a lot of people that do not have Facebook pages. And so it's just a place where more people can access it quickly and easily. And then um, that being said, there are two Junk Journal Studio Facebook pages. Well, actually, one is a page and one is a group. So the Facebook page is my business page, and there you will find um, notifications about my sales, recently uploaded freebies, new listings, YouTube video links. It's a place where I'm only, only I, as the admin, am able to post on that page, and it's a place for you to be updated on the Junk Journal Studio. Then there's the Junk Journal Studio fans group, and that group I designed for two reasons. One, it's a place where you guys are able to share your creations, inspire others, be inspired with the Junk Journal Studio uh, digitals, and then also a place for you to more easily get the freebies, which now will be on the Kofi page. So that leaves the group to inspiration, which um, is very underutilized. There's lots of you guys have subscribed, but we, for the most part, aren't really sharing, including myself. So that's something I hope to change come the new year. And that's the Junk Journal Studio fans. Um, group on Facebook. If you haven't liked it already, you could hop on over and like that. Design teams. So right now, the Junctural Studio has three design team members. I have Candice over at Journal Me Crazy. She's been with me for a long time now. Can't Thank you, Candice. I have Margreth from Seven Plaza. She's been with me uh, for quite a few months now, and I absolutely love having her on my design team. And then I recently um, received Crafty Dad as one of my design team members. He is new to YouTube, but definitely not new to Instagram. He's quite well established, has lots of followers, and is really excited to uh, launch his channel. He has one already, but he'll be doing some videos and uploading them quite regularly in the new year and so I just wanted to let you guys know that those are the three design team members I have right now I'm actually doing some design team updates and just sort of refining a little bit more as to what I'm looking for and what I'm able to do to also 
encourage and promote my design team members and get them more exposure and more likes and followers and viewers and all that stuff. So we'll talk more about that in the new year. However, in the meantime, if you have not subscribed to Candace Margreth or Crafty Dad, so Journal Me Crazy, Seven Plaza or Crafty Dad, their links are down below. Hop on over, like their YouTube channel, subscribe, because you will see the Junk Journal Studios digitals in action. You'll see them being created with, so it's great, great inspiration especially for crafty dad he's just starting out so the more subscribers he gets the more he'll be encouraged and off to a great start so thank you for joining my team crafty dad thank you candace and margreth for being on the studio's design team i am forever grateful and thankful for all of your creative inspiration to our entire junk journal studio community and last but not least have a very good last few days of 2022. I hope you had a good Christmas. I want to thank you so much for subscribing and for following and supporting my little business and my design teams. And I'm excited about the new year. I really am. Lots of really cool and exciting updates to uh, come. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. And I hope you have a fabulous, happy new year. And we'll talk again real soon. Bye.